Welcome to Math with Bill. My name's Bill and this is Math. In this video, we're talking about matrix math. Again, matrix math, not the movie, uh, but rather the rectangular arrangement of numbers in rows and columns. And we're talking about matrix multiplication. This video is designed to show you that matrix multiplication is not commutative. Okay, so we can't take and switch things. So it's not like regular numbers. Three times five and five times three are both 15. But in this case, we're gonna be looking at two, uh, two matrix multiplication sets, A times B, matrix A times matrix B, and then we're also gonna look at matrix B times matrix A, which is going to be fundamentally different, okay? Which might surprise you, but hopefully after this video, you'll understand the importance of multiplying in the correct order. So, to deal with any type of matrix multiplication, the first thing that we need to address is dimension size, because that's gonna help us in our final product. So, dimension size of A is a two by three. Dimension size of matrix B is a three by two. Again, we always name row first, then column. So, rows again are those horizontal lines, columns are the vertical lines. So we have two horizontal and three going vertical, whereas we have three going horizontal and then two vertical. So a two by three times a three by two means we can multiply these two together because our inside dimensions are the exact same. If they're not the exact same, we'll have a problem, but because these are, we'll be fine, okay? So with the inside dimensions being the same, new dimensions are the outside here, and this matrix A times matrix B it was like this, we're gonna multiply and we're gonna get a new matrix with dimensions of two rows and two columns. So we're gonna have a row one, column one, row one, column two, row two, column one, and row two, column two entry spaces. The reason I, I encourage you to use these is because it tells us which row from the, or which entries from the first matrix we're going to multiply times which entries, which corresponding entries of the column of the second matrix. So we're here taking row one of our first matrix times column one of the second matrix. Seven times two gives us 14, plus three times two is six, plus five times five is 25 for a first entry of 45. Row one, column two, we're gonna again take this two, three, five, now times the one, six, four. So two times one gives me two, plus three times six, which is 18, plus five times four gives me 20. This is all equal to 40, and that becomes our entry for row one, column two. Row two, column one, now we take one, two, six, times seven, two, five. So the one times the seven, it's the first of each of those again. So we take one times seven, or seven, plus two times two, which is four, plus six times five, which is 30, which gives us a total of 41. And for our final row two, column two, it's gonna be the one, two, and six, and the one, six, and the four. One times one gives me one, plus two times six is 13, plus six times four is 24, Hold on, two times six is 12. <laughs> Sorry about that. And so we have a 13 plus 24 situation for 37. So this again is matrix A times matrix B. But if we look at matrix B times matrix A, and let's start that one right now, now we have a three row times two column and a, and we're multiplying this times a two by three. Well, hold on. We're still the same on the inside, but our new dimensions, or new dimensions are gonna be a three by three, which is a different, it's a very different from a two by two. So that was a two by two resultant matrix. Now we're gonna have a three by three. Okay, so I make my big three by three, I've got a one, 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 two, one, three, 
two, one, two, 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 three, three, one, three, two, three, three. Again, these are just all of my entry positions that I'm filling in down here to help me realize which row times which column, which row of the first times which column of the second. So with my one, one, I take seven times two, which is 14 plus one times one. First entry here is 15. Next up, one, two, seven times three is 21 plus two more. So we get 23, seven times five is 35 plus six more gives me a 41 in my one three position now let's move on to row two so it's going to be row two the two times two is four plus six more gives us ten two times three is six plus six times two is twelve six plus twelve is eighteen and for the third position there two times five is ten plus 36 more gives me a 46. Finishing off our last row, five times two plus one times four gives us 14. And then we have 15 and eight more for 23. And finally, 25 plus 24 is 49. So this is matrix B times matrix A which you can see now is very different from matrix A times matrix B. So does order matter when it comes to matrix multiplication? The answer is absolutely. This is math. My name is Bill. Thanks for watching.